She chose God as her best friend when growing up. Now, part of the Bride of Christ and commissioned by the Father, Minister Charmaine Noel carries the good news of the Gospel to all the lands. Minister Noel and the Ministry for Anointed Prophecy, MAP, welcomes you on the Highway of Holiness. God told Minister Charmaine Noel to prophesy into the lives of the people so that they may be carriers of His glory and walk in the supernatural with mighty miracles, signs and wonders following. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, and welcome to our program, Highway of Holiness. I am Minister Shami Noel, and you know I always greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior. I want to let you know, precious people, that something good is going to happen to you today. This is something that my, my husband always says, something good is going to happen to you today. Well, I am excited today because I have with me on the program a dear friend of mine, a fellow prophet of God, Gavin Thomas. Gavin, welcome to the program. It's great to be here. I thank God for being here, my sister. Yes. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much. You know, I just, I just, you know, long I've been asking Gavin to come here. I just wanted to let you guys know. Well, you know, many of you, because this is being aired, you know, in many countries around the world, and many of you uh, uh, don't know uh, Prophet Gavin. But so, Gavin, I want to begin by just, why don't you tell, you know, our audience a little bit about yourself, you know, how you became a prophet and how you, how you are, where you are today. Yes. Well, first of all, I am a, the 12th of 13 children, and my mom, was not a believer, I've been instrumental in guiding us according a certain way. But I must say, I was uh, assistant to Prophet Lehmat Sandy. Uh, many people in the nations of the earth, they know Prophet Lehmat Sandy. I was his assistant for eight years. And seeing his hunger for God and listening to what God had been doing through his life, I wanted to know more about God. It's like, you know, you're sitting around someone and knowing the experiences and seeing where the people that are gathered around them is going, I wanted more. So I pursued and pursued and pursued, not understanding that God is the one that finds us first and draws us to him. So by my pursuit, I came into a place where, as we all know, the greatest fertilizer for every spiritual growth are our godly response in the fiery trials of life. If we watch from Genesis to Revelation, every person, every servant of God, all pass through the fire. Even our master, we are all, but through our experiences as we go through the fire, how we respond determines if we will grow or not. And we, through some experiences that I did experience, I responded in a way that the Lord wanted because I came to the end of myself. Many times we try to depend on our own wisdom and the support that we know. But God waits. I mean, our loving Father is so patient. He waits on us because He knows that we need Him. All humanity needs Him. So when I came to a place of brokenness, couldn't turn nowhere else, walls all around. Walls left, walls right, all around. Open up to Him. Say, Lord, I need your help. And the Lord responded, said, this is what I want. And from then, started a new pursuit. I saw differently. I heard differently. My, and what was so amazing uh, is that even the comfort of forgiveness, because David said, if it was an enemy, yes. it was an enemy. It was the one who went up to the house of the Lord with him. So I, most pain that we experience in life is because of someone, most of the time, emotional pain. So the Lord have caused forgiveness by my giving it to him, and I became stronger, and my pursuit continued. Amen. Amen. So, prophet of God, I understand that you started a ministry. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the ministry? Um, what's the vision for the ministry? Where you think, where you think this ministry is going? Is going? And I think it's going to be around the world. I'm just letting you know, but why don't you talk? <laughs> well, the first thing I will start by saying is that over the years, we have listened and we have heard God's servants saying that Trinidad and Tobago is called to be a beacon yes. to the nations of the earth. Many years I've heard it 
you have heard it. God has shown you many as a prophetess of God, confirm many things to you. Be God is not calling Trinidad and Tobago to be a beacon of crime, or a beacon of murder, or a beacon of wickedness, or witchcraft, but a beacon of righteousness and holiness. All across this land, God has raised up watchmen and women who are seeking his face daily. Yes. There's those that you have called as intercessors. Even as I've entered God's kingdom, you have called me as an intercessor. I've been a part of different intercessory groups, part of the leadership. Because of that, and my hunger for God, not a hunger to work for God, a hunger to know this God, the same God that answers by fire. The God who says, I'm the one I change not. I'm the same yesterday, today, forevermore. My hunger was to know this God. And in the midst of pursuing him, while a time of fasting, within that time, as the time of fasting came out, I heard from about eight people confirmation that God is calling you. But God have a way of speaking to you first, and then others confirm it to you. So I did hear from God. He said, strap your sword back on your waist. And then he said, what I place in you, it don't belong to you. It's for my children. Amen. In obedience to his voice, he gave me, caused me to have an alliance with a brother from far away that later on will be introduced. Yes. And there came this name, uh, Bethlehem. There. And even before the meeting started, I just sat and wept because of his presence. Just wept, wept, because he authenticated what he said. Amen. So I look forward to great things. Isn't this how it's supposed to be, yes. prophet of God? Isn't yes. this yes. When, when, when saints of God gather together? Yes. Isn't it how it's supposed to be? Yeah, you know, in the, in the, in the, second, the second half of the program, I'm going to ask you uh, if something has gone wrong. Is there, has something gone wrong? Because, because how is it that, that uh, I could have this experience in, you know, in our assembly, you could have it, you, yes. you started an assembly and, and, and you getting this experience. And, you know, there are many assemblies that start this way. Yes. But it's not so much how we start. Yes. It's how we finish. So, so there are many times, you know, uh, Prophet Gavin, that we start hungry. We start on fire for God and, you know, uh, but there are times when we become wary. Yes. 
And, and, and I want you to understand that even as you just begun this incredible work, that you're not going to be weary. You're not one, you're not one who would be wearied, uh, you know, by, by circumstances and situations. As a, as a matter of fact, your eyes will not even look at the circumstances and situations, you know. Um, I want to, we're, we're going to be, precious people, we're going to be back uh, shortly. You just listen to these announcements because in the second half, I'm going to introduce to you a pastor from Uganda my goodness, who had a call from God to leave his home in Africa and come to Trinidad just to minister to, to the people. And, and, I'm, and I wanna, I'm going to tell the, the pastor that it's not just Trinidad. You know, that God, the assignment that God has for him, it, be, it would begin in one land, but it's really, you know, in, in many countries that God is going to be raising him. And so we're going to be back shortly and uh, just be sure, precious people. And I always tell you this, call someone because if, if, if they've missed the first half, they're not going to miss the second half because the word of the Lord is going to come forth through the prophets of God. The prophets are going to be speaking in the second half. We'll be back. Get your copy of today's message. Email us, info at maptt.org. That's info at maptt.org. Or write to us, the Ministry for Anointed Prophecy, MAP, P.O. Box 6057, Diego Martin, Trinidad, West Indies. You can listen to many of Minister Charmaine's messages or watch her on YouTube when you visit the website www maptt.org Messages such as Carriers of His Glory, a four-part series, Spiritual Gravity, The Power of Faith, and Resurrection Power. Be sure to watch the program Highway of Holiness on CNC3 every second and fourth Sunday at 8.30 a.m. MAP's Miracle, Healing, and Teaching services are every Saturday afternoon at 5 p.m. Miracle Crusades, which were held around Trinidad in the year 2012, will continue in 2013 at a location near to you. The Lord God does nothing unless He reveals His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7 Welcome back. Well, if you've just tuned in, I have with me on this program Prophet Gavin Thomas. My goodness, what a mighty man of God. And God has been speaking to him about a number of things. And one of the things, Gavin, that the, the Lord has been speaking to you about is leaders. Yes. What, is, what has God been saying to you? Um, or have you gotten a, a specific word from the Lord as it pertains to leaders? And when we speak about leaders, precious people, we are speaking about leaders globally. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Prophet? Yes, yes. Leaders around yes. the world. Yes. Yes. What is God saying to you concerning leaders? Well, recently I have this word from the Lord pertaining to leaders. Yes. The Lord said, I am not pleased with my leaders at, at this time. He said many have diverted from their place of strength and have placed their focus upon financial gains. He said, many have started right and have been diverted because of choice, because of greed, and because of pride. The Lord said, because of an attention, many have shifted their focus from me to themselves. Many, he said, are teaching the people, even in his body, are teaching the people more about financial gain than about knowing the God that they serve. He said many have made altars where they bow literally from their heart before finances and that which they have acquired. They look past the blesser and they glorify the blessing. So the Lord said some, even some of my leaders in my body are very imbalanced in their teachings. Mm. They care about satisfaction of themselves and they are not seeking to be satisfied in me and by me. He says because of their financial breakthroughs, they have made that the central focus of their teachings for my children. Yes. Forgetting that being financially stable alone cannot keep them from the wiles or the troubles of the enemy. So the Lord says, he declares, the enemy of our soul, not only in his body, but the enemy of the world, desires to bring all leaders into a place of error. That's right. That's right. 
Hence the reason all around, there's so many things being invented so fast. Yes. Before you have one phone, another one comes up. That's right. So you will never really have the latest. No. Because things have been placed in a position of glorification to keep the world constantly looking at that which can succeed or that which can keep them. Yes. So the Lord says, he says, so now, across the board, across the earth, I place a measuring rod against every leader. He said, every leader shall be measured by me. None is exempt. Whether you are a political leader, whether you are a religious leader, whether you are a leader of the home, whether whatever leader you are, the Lord said, you'll be measured by him. He said, you have entered a season of where Samuel and Eli were. He said he spoke to Samuel and Samuel warned Eli. So the Lord said, no, those who have ears to hear, quickly return to knowing the God of creation in this season, says the Spirit of God. Wow, amen, amen. I want to just jump up and shout for joy. Listen to me, but you know, while you were speaking, um, and I noticed this has been happening to leaders around the world. Yes. Um, the spirit of witchcraft, yes. the spirit of divination, soothsayers, uh, necromancers have been aligned to leaders around the world. Yes. They, almost as though that they are assignments, literal assignments that the enemy yes. would send these, uh, these men and women, these, these, these people of witchcraft, operating yes. in witchcraft, to be aligned with leaders. Yes. And instead of them going to the true prophets of God, they go to the false prophets. Yes. Do you see that happening? Hence the reason Jezebel yes. spirit seems to be having a field day with the leaders. And one of the aspects of the spirit of Jezebel yes. is that it takes on the persona of a dove. Yes. And even those in the body of Christ, many of them become, as it were, distracted yes. and deceived into thinking that it's authentic. But the Spirit of God exposes all that is hidden. Always. Always. The Spirit of the God, the one that hovers over the waters. Yes. The Spirit that forever is truthful and guiding the church yes. into strength. Yes. Hence the reason even now, my sister, you've been one of those that God have raised up in this season yes. to impact not only Trinidad and Tobago, as you know, but have called you to impact the earth for his glory. All that you need, he has supported you with. Amen. And there are those that are coming, and they are coming because God has ordained for them to be part of the work that he's doing with you in this time. So you have been marked and sealed and sent, and God has placed a ready word in your mouth. Hence, this boldness. You're like Elisha, that came and says, only at my word. God has placed that anointing on you, the boldness to declare it as it is. Because you are backed by the one who's almighty, all powerful, and all knowing. So go forward, my sister. Amen. Well, thank you for that word of encouragement. God knows I need it ever so often. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, you know, prophet of God, you're you're a prophet. And you know, as as prophets, we know, you know, there are times when there are words that we would hear from God and we say, oh my God, really, Lord, is this, is this what is really taking place? Yes. When, we, when, when we look at our land, when we look at other nations, when we look at the Middle East, yes. you know, why don't you tell me, you know, because there's so much turmoil going on right now in the Middle East. Yes. Do you think um, that what is happening in Syria and the nations around Israel, do you think that the Western world, we in the Western world, we in the Caribbean, in America, in Trinidad, do you think we are going to be affected? Are we affected in any way by what is taking place in the Middle East? Well, yes, we are. And we will be. Because first, God always have a people. And we are spiritual Israel. Everyone that have named the name of Christ yes. as their Lord and Savior, we are literally the one, the vine that is grafted into the tree. So become one with Israel. So whatever happens across the earth, especially as believers, yeah. should keep our eyes focused on what is happening there. Because it is affecting us and the whole world shall be affected. But we have watched over the years how Israel many times have been targeted 
And many times, all the time, the God that they serve always deliver them. And even to those leaders across the earth who have set in their ways to interfere with God's own, I would say as the word of God says, it's better you tie a milestone around your neck and go into the deepest sea. Because God is still almighty. The God that Israel served is still a present help in the time of trouble. He shall never be moved. So we bless his holy name for that. <laughs> and, and, and if we could send this to other countries and the, the leaders in the other countries so that they'd be warned and you know, resist uh, from attacking the precious land of Israel, the apple of God's eye. Yes, Amen? Yes, yeah. Um, you know, there's, I know that, 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 again, as a prophet, that, that God always would lay something on your heart. Yes. What has God laid on your heart right now in this season that we're in? What is God speaking to you about? You know, as you say that, it caused the passion to rise so much on the inside. God is calling a people. He have done that throughout the centuries. God have called a people to himself. There are many who are saying, yes, I am his. But their lives don't mirror that. And in this season, God is exposing, especially his people, to a position and a place called the life. It goes beyond what we think Christianity is. Yes. So many warped belief and understanding we have yes. for what Christianity is. Yes. But God, the living God, the true God, yes. is exposing himself to his people in a way that is causing many leaders to marvel. Yes. And many rebel against what's happening yes. because they are not accustomed yes that way yes. but the Lord is validating yes. his footprints on all that is happening because yes. there is a people that is hungering yes. there's a people that is thirsting and they are hungry and God is feeding them oh my goodness <laughs> my god we need to have another program here you know one is not enough my goodness when the prophet begins to speak i'm sure everybody gets all excited we all want to hear what this says the lord everybody amen that's why people who don't even know uh, the true and living god that's why they go to, to you know to the necromancers and the and the palm readers because we're all interested in the future amen yeah and you know i have with me in 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 this program us uh, another very special guest and i met him today for the first time but my god yeah, the anointing is all over this young man of God. And he comes all the way from Uganda. Praise the Lord. We have in studio Pastor uh, Kakande, correct? Yes. yes, I got it correct. Praise the Lord. So Pastor Simon Kakande, it's really a pleasure to have you here in Trinidad and Tobago and to have you on our program, Highway of Holiness. Why don't you tell us, my goodness, how come you ended up in Trinidad, on the island of Trinidad in the Caribbean, from all the way, you know, Uganda? How did you end up here? It's amazing. I was at home, back home in Uganda, as you say, yes. in a dream. Yes. And the Lord brings this world map before me and spotted out was Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. And the Lord was saying, Simon, wake up, time for nations. Yes. I'm doing my end time work to the nations. And one of it, which I have on my heart is Trinidad and Tobago, but go and want it because I want to use it to turn to me that even I can use it to affect other nations around, but it is in a mess, as many other nations have been in a mess. So I obeyed, that's how I obeyed, and I came, paid all whatever to have to pay the cost because I had to do it. The Bible says whoever obeys will eat the good of the land. I said, Lord, I need my blessing, my intent blessing. That's why I had to obey to come, and here I am, declaring repentance to the land of yes. Trinidad. Yes. Repentance, not only to the land of Trinidad, but repentance to the land of all over the world because yes. time is up. God is doing something to the nations and to the people of the world before he comes back. That's, that's amazing. You know, even you went so far as, as writing a book. Yeah. yeah? Um, the book is uh, 
great revival or judgment, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Great revival or judgment. Mm. And why don't you, now there's a, there is a, a, the flag of, of Trinidad and Tobago here, mm. but, but somehow I believe that this particular book is not just for Trinidad and Tobago. No. I believe it's for the islands of the Caribbean and I believe it is for the nations mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, about this book? Exactly, that's God called Abraham for the nation is because one family Yes. but for the nation. So I believe God specifically chose uh, Trinidad, yes. but as a sign of what is going on in other nations. Yes. And as he calls Trinidad to repent and to come back to him because of the great move he's about to transpire in the land, yes. it's the same way he's calling the other nations to be alert because he's not doing it only in one place, but in the whole world because he's coming back to the all nations of the world. So that's why I believe with you that it's not only about for Trinidad, but it's also a call, a wake-up call from the nations to be expecting the great revival through repenting, going before the Lord and say, Lord, here we are, we don't want to miss you, than getting judgment. Because either you receive good or receive bad. Yeah. How, how, can, how can we, uh, you know, get this book? Do you have a, a, a phone number or an email? Do you have an email address yes. that we can use to yes. get this to get this book? Yes, they can get it at Trinidad Prayer Altar yes. at yahoo.com or yes. Uganda House of Prayer at yahoo.com. The phone will be given by the pastor. Wow. Pastor Kakande is so much on fire for God. I think this Trinidad and Tobago is going to be shaken for sure. And not just Trinidad. I believe the nations around the earth are going to be shaken by this mighty man of God. Well, you know, you know, uh, prophet of God, prophet Garvin, people will want to know more about your ministry. Why don't you tell us again the name of the ministry and if you have an email address that people can get in contact with you. Yes, go ahead. Well, the name of the ministry is Bethlehem Trinidad House of Prayer. Um, the email address can get uh, Garvin Thomas Peace, like P E A C, at gmail.com. Prophet Garvin, why don't you uh, just close the program today and just lead someone who does not yet know Jesus Christ as their Lord? Because we hear, we're talking so much about events taking place around the world, leaders. Yes. Lead someone to Christ. World, we all need the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Outside of him, we are just existing. Every wind that blows, we are blowing with it. It's a simple prayer, confession of the heart, confession of the lips from your heart. All you have to say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of every sin. I have committed. I now ask you to come into my heart and make me a new person. I will live for you and I will serve you. Amen. And that's it. No lightning, no thunder. That's it. God bless you. You know, I would like the people to uh, just uh, call or, or text or email us and let us know and let us send you. We're going to send you some literature to let you know what you did. I want to close by saying I love you with the love of Jesus and more importantly, Jesus loves you. God bless. Get your copy of today's message. Email us, info at maptt.org. That's info at maptt.org. Or write to us, the Ministry for Anointed Prophecy, MAP. P.O. Box 6057, Diego Martin, Trinidad, West Indies. You can listen to many of Minister Charmaine's messages or watch her on YouTube when you visit the website www.mapt.org. Messages such as Carriers of His Glory, a four-part series, Spiritual Gravity, The Power of Faith, and Resurrection Power. Be sure to watch the program Highway of Holiness on CNC3 every second and fourth Sunday at 8.30 a.m. MAP's Miracle, Healing and Teaching Services are every Saturday afternoon at 5 p.m. Miracle Crusades, which were held around Trinidad in the year 2012, will continue in 2013 at a location near to you. The Lord God does nothing unless He reveals His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. Amos 3.7